Okay. I hope everybody is uh, was having a good weekend. Um, I am. Uh, I'm super angry. I'm. I'm really in a bad, bad mood. So I put a bad. I put dark clouds behind me. Uh, it's been about three days fixing up all the stuff for us, um, for our class, and it almost all got deleted for reasons I do not understand. So three days worth of work appears to mostly have been gone, which I'm super. I would be swearing right now, but I know Jeremy will call me on it or somebody will call me on it and try to get credit or something. Um, so I can't tell you how angry and frustrated I am right now. I, I apologize, you guys. I'm really, really ticked off about this technology stuff. Um, anyway, uh, trying to breathe, trying to you go into a better state because we're supposed to be adults and things like that here. Um, but uh, so our survey is live as of this morning. And so you guys can, we can start to distribute that and share that. That's the main thing I wanted to uh, to convey to everybody today. Um, and I'm going to um, uh, put in, let me see, put in the chat real quick, the link to it. And this is more or less what, what we saw last week. I clean it up, edit it up and, and um, fix some things. But this is basically ready to start um, posting in your in your areas. Why Why is my chat window not coming up? Here we go. Okay. Oh, thanks, Jenny. That's very nice of you to say. I'm still, I'm still ticked off though. <laughs> so I can't. I want to punch some things, but that's supposedly very immature and stuff. But, uh, but right. Um, okay. So that, that's our link. I'm also up. Or I, I just re-updated again um, our uh, module. So if you lose it, you can go and look on our um, public opinion poll module and you'll find it in there with, where it says poll to distribute. Um, uh, I believe there's also some, some tabs where I can uh, give you guys ways to share on Twitter, Facebook, et cetera, but the copying paste is a little bit weird. So even though I, I can click it, it I, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out how to, how to best share that. So probably later today, I'll, I'll be able to post those, but this link will work wherever. This link will work. Um, uh, wherever you want to uh, post it. Now, in the past, when we've done this. We've, we've tried some things where you can make the link be um, be uh, uh, sort of more clean looking. Say, like, take our survey, that kind of stuff. But in the last year or two, that seems to be getting caught by different filters. And so, because it says one thing, but then the link directs you to something, some other place, which is this Qualtrics thing. Um, some, some. Uh, spam things or, or some networks we try to post it, see it as some kind of um, hack or somebody trying to mess with stuff. So, so the clearest thing is to post an invite, say, please take our survey and, and put the, the, the naked one here where it says csuci.qualtrics.com, um, et cetera. So that should work. Um, uh, it'd be great if, if one or two of you would just click it and see if you can start taking the survey right now just to make sure it works and it's actually live because um, it, it behaves differently for me as the creator of it. Um, but that's it. Um, so there we go. Again, I would note that in our, um, again, this in the chat, again, in our, let me see if I can share this with you guys. Okay, in our module, right? In our, in our opinion poll module, um, when you when you step through here and 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 go and check it on out, um, this is the draft. This is the draft version. So this one here, don't. Yeah. I turn this. This is live again, but you know, some people wanted to see it again. But this is this is the draft one. So I'll probably turn this off today, so there's no confusion. So if you do lose the um, the link you do lose your link um, it's this one right here okay I believe this one here will work for Twitter but for reasons that I'm not entirely sure of um, it's it, it I need to double check that so this is the main one I, I'll clean this up and make it look nicer but this is the link to our our server that's the one that I posted in the chat. Um, okay so next I want to just touch on um, when you guys start to distribute this, um, when you guys start to distribute this, 
Yeah. Okay. So, um, so thanks for everybody for thinking of different ways we can share this and stuff, which, which is great. Um, I flagged a couple folks in here. Um, so, uh, remember we're, we're, we're targeting, um, so you can share with your networks. That's okay. After we've done this first big outreach and, you know, ask all your friends to take it and, and, and all this and that and, and, and your networks. But what I was looking for for the first 10 were things that were different from your network, right? So if you so um, some people were talking about, hey, this chapter of this thing or this organization or what have you, or this user group, that's cool. But sometimes some folks just said, put it on Facebook, put it on Twitter, put it in. And that, that's not what I was looking for because you can do that any old time. I was looking for 10 distinct things that you could specifically tar I mean, it could, it could be a genetic, generic population, but nevertheless, it was a specific place you were going to target it so we could push it to different locations. Um, we can always throw it up on our, on our social media networks and, and uh, things like that. But we're really trying to find, make sure we're not over-biasing, we're not biasing the results, right? So we're, we're really working to um, cast a wider net than, than just the people that we happen to know. Because on average, we tend to know people that are like us, on average, we tend to all be going to CSUCI, so we're, we're more homogeneous than a random swath of the public. So that's why we're looking for these other places to, to push, our, push our invitations to. Again, if we also go back on that, on that same module, there's the link to our uh, suggested invite or, or generic invite. You're welcome to, we didn't change it too much uh, last week, so you guys more, more or less left it the way it was. So you're welcome to copy that, you're welcome to tweak that or whatever. But before you send your, before you post to your, to your groups, I would um, uh, first um, make sure you have your little blurb ready, right? And, you know, if you're just sending an email to someone, it could be a bit of a longer blurb. If you're posting it to something like, you know, extreme example, be something like Twitter, right, where there's just a character limit, you might want to boil it down to one or two sentences type deal before you throw it in. And so, um, so if you guys could start uh, distributing those today, that would be great. And we can start to see how, what, how we're doing. Um, you know, a great return for us would be to get over a thousand responses. Um, uh, you know, if we just got a few dozen or a hundred or two, that's not so great. Um, what we've found over the years is, at least from our face-to-face um, -face surveying, once we get above about a thousand, it's pretty robust. It's pretty robust for people being silly, pretty robust for people maybe not quite, quite finishing every survey. It's obviously higher for that for our, um, for our online surveys, but, but again, once we get to that certain threshold, um, even though there are statistical issues and representative issues of uh, are we capturing the, the full public, uh, the full public perception, but, but once we start to get above that, you know, many hundreds to a thousand or so responses, we really do seem to minimize any of the nefariousness or people screwing with us or people like just, you know, running through the survey and just, you know, getting to do it to get done, those types of issues. So we really want to see if we can get as large a sample size as possible. Um, uh, and we're only going to run this for a few weeks because, uh, you know, the election and all that other stuff. It's, everything seems, people's opinions seem to be changing by the, by the day or the week uh, these days. So, so um, we will run it and we'll probably end it before Halloween. So that only gives us a few weeks to, to get this uh, collected. Awesome. Does anybody have any questions about uh, places? And, and it would be great if you guys could send it to more than just your 10 spots, right? We want to send it to as many places as possible. But does anybody have any questions about um, their, the places they're thinking about sharing or the places they're thinking about um, uh, targeting or, or how they're thinking about outreaching to people or inviting people? Professor, can you tell me where that blurb is located or what its title or something is so I can yep. find it here? Yep, yep. So I, can, I can repost it again, but it's basically in our module that's the, um, in our module that's the public opinion poll. And on this one that says poll distribution targets or the page, excuse me, it says poll distribution targets. Uh -huh. This one that says coastal survey invitation. So if I okay. copy it right here. And I'll post it in the um, chat for you guys right now. 
If I can see, if I can hide you guys and I can see the chat. So this, <laughs> oh man, it's just a great technology day. All right, well, don't worry no, 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 about no, no, no. it. I got it, I got it here, I got it here. Okay. Okay, sorry. So that's the link to the the text of you know a straw man, a, you know a, a default thing you can use to edit or tweak. Okay. Um, you do not have to use that. You can certainly customize that, but that's the thing that we we uh, we talked about last week. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Um, great. Uh, and was anybody able to just click on the survey and see if you could just start a question or so? Is it is it working for everybody? It's not me. It's working. Okay. Thank you. Okay, great. Um, okay. Perfecto. Um, next, I want to just say that one of the things that does seem to have worked <clears throat> is, um, our, is, is next week's module. And so for this week's module, uh, what I've done is I've, wait a second, 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 wait a second. Yeah, okay. So this is, uh, I've, for the readings, since I've, I've been having all these issues, this is um, two weeks worth of readings. So it's this week's and next week. So I just wanted to be clear at that. So there's a bunch of readings in here. These readings are all about um, uh, water quality and uh, sort of taking a first stab to look at um, pollution and and aspects of pollution. So stuff is basically broken down into um, uh, the classic waste item, which would be physical stuff, which would be debris, uh, uh, physical objects of, of trash. Um, studies that are trying to look at or have looked at the effect of those pollutants on, on people, specifically pe people's health. Um, and then some examples of some, what I would argue are, are water quality successes. So sometimes we hear so much that, you know, things are bad, things are bad, things are bad. And obviously we do have major challenges, but um, these are some examples of things that seem to be generally um, going in, if not solved, at least going in the right direction. And then lastly, I just wanted to touch on uh, some things about hidden pollu pollutants. And so there's some more videos in here and there's some more, um, popular press articles, but just about things we don't typically think about. So we're primarily focusing in this, this next two weeks reading materials on um, what we might call some traditional pollutants, even though there's a little bit about microplastics in here, but, but that, that idea of traditional pollutants. Um, but there are these uh, novel things that are stressors to ecosystems that maybe most folks don't typically think of as pollutants. So here talking about radiation, uh, talking about, um, heat or, or thermal stress um, and uh, uh, the consequences of climate change to some of these more traditional water quality parameters. So that's what's going on there. So those should all be active. And uh, there are two quizzes in here. I know we haven't had quizzes every week, like I said we would. There's two quizzes in here. One will be for this week, one will be for next week. Um, and uh, yeah, okay. Um, now, will I, there be? Oh, sorry, will there be certain readings corresponding to the quizzes? Uh, uh, the first one, uh, the, the the second week, all these readings are val are are valid. Um, this first week's quiz is um, not so much about these particular readings; it's about some of the stuff we've done the last week or so, last week or two. Okay. So, so, so you don't have to get all the. Re do not worry about getting all the readings done by by tomorrow if you wanted to take the quiz tomorrow, for example. Two weeks, two Tuesdays from now, you should have done all the readings, but this first one is not like that. Um, and, and the quiz is, yeah, right. So the one quiz will go active uh, tomorrow, one quiz will go active uh, next week. Okay, thank you. Yeah, no worries. Um, okay, so, so there we go. So I, I wanted to um, just get back and, and talk for a second <clears throat> before I, before we totally leave the, the the uh, opinion poll 
stuff for the moment and just making sure that uh, no one has any, or, or let me ask, let me ask you a different way. Um, wh wh what are you guys, which targets are you most interesting in reaching out to of, of your list that you guys, you guys submitted last week? Where are the places you're most interesting, or most interested in, in pushing the survey to and most maybe curious to see what a population from that community might respond? I would say um, I refrained from putting any really outlandish organizations that, you know, may not even believe in climate change or any, any effects, you know, COVID not having any effects on um, the environment. So I, I obviously didn't want to reach out because I want people to actually take the survey, but I think it would be really interesting to see what people in those sort of groups would say. Oh, totally. Um, but again, I didn't, I didn't reach out. I mean, if someone did, that'll be really interesting. But. So one of the things, well, but the fact that we ask some of these demographic questions, uh, there, there is, it, we, we can um, get at some of that, right? So, so uh, when we cast a wide net, um, some folks that let's say, uh, don't, don't think climate change is a, is a significant um, challenge we need to deal with right now, which is you know, literally one of the questions we ask. Uh, you can um, look at how the other response, how the other um, questions say how people are behaving under COVID or how people feel about, um, you know, the management of the coast or what have you. You can, you can, we can look and see how, um, if people that, for example, deny climate change are also denying other realities or, or don't see the realities the way other folks do. Um, so that's great. And I, I think, I think Dana's, comment there is spot on. We don't, um, we don't really want to target the um, climate change activists, right? We also don't want to target per se the climate change denialists if we're, if we're talking about the subject of climate change. We want to get a broad swath. We want to get, you know, want to get those people here, but, but those folks tend to be the, the most uh, vociferous, loudest, intense people tend to be on, on edges of the spectrum. Most people are not on, on, on those extreme edges one way or the other on whatever the subject is. And so, so if you do want to reach out to a group that, you know, if we talk about fishing, right, people that bit the uh, uh, vegans for stopping fish group, right, for stopping fishing. Uh, and then the Southern California recreational, you know, sport anglers group, right. So if you want to reach out to one of those groups, good idea to reach out to um, another group on the other side of the spectrum, right? So that we, so we're not biasing too much one way or the other. So the best, so, so I, I think, um, so Dana's idea was, is fine. You know, hey, I'm really curious as to how this particular community might, maybe has behaved during COVID or, or how, how important they think nature is during COVID uh, to, you know, for their lives. Um, that's totally cool, but we, we just don't wanna, you know, overly sample one small subset. So if you do want to target a group that tends to maybe you might think have a specific worldview or, or take on things, we want to hit another group as well. And that's also why it's really important that a lot, most of our outreach should be to wider populations of folks, that we don't um, uh, feel a priori necessarily or biased one way or the other, just it's, a, it's more of a random swath. So. So uh, 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 knitters, right, or um, stamp collector groups, or I don't know, science fiction fans, or or I don't know, soap opera fans, or something like that, right? So, so um, yeah, I'll just say that. What about anybody else? Any, any other ones folks are particularly curious about, or or really um, um, interested in sending the invitation to those particular groups? I have a couple of groups that target the older demographics. So I'm curious mm -hmm. to see how they responded to the whole COVID and how they view the environment. Yeah, totally, totally. Um, uh, I think that that, that uh, you know, using age is a, is a great example of, of, you know, shooting for some younger people, shooting for some over, older people, shooting for some middle-aged folks. That's, that's a great example of 
you know, sort of targeted outreach or, or a little bit more or pay attention, but not necessarily biased one way or the other in terms of a specific uh, coastal management issue. Um, so that's great. Remember, so you guys gave me 10. You, you love for you to put out way more than that, right? Love for you to put out 20 or whatever. So if you have these ideas, you know, bang, 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 you can hit a bunch of things. Now, um, remember that the general approach is going to be, oh, I got this jerky professor who's making us do this for a class, right? Um, so you guys can can feel free to, you know, say that I'm a jerk and he's making us do this or whatever, you know, so sorry, but I have to. Um, uh, also, when you're, um, when you're doing that, it's usually best to, well, there's different approaches, but generally speaking, you tend to get more traction when you have some type of nexus with the group. So if you're sending stuff to the libraries, go, hey, I'm a reader, <laughs> I'm a fellow reader of things and want to talk to you about this or something, right? Or, or if you're, uh, uh, I don't know what the example I just mentioned, a fisherman, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're a, if you like to fish and you're in a, a group about different folks who fish, hey guys, I'm doing this. And, and it, it just tends to look a little bit less um, creepy, a little bit less, and this is always an issue, but in this particular, you know, the most divisive political time I've ever seen in my life. Um, and with the presidential election and all that kind of stuff, I, I, it's, it's, a, it's just gonna be a tough time to get people to respond. Um, not necessarily because people don't like you or not because people think you're a jerk, but just I think a lot of people are just, I'm done with, I'm done with anything, you know, I'm done with everything. And so, um, so the more you might have an entrance or the more you can, the more you can uh, personalize the message a little bit more. I think, I think you're more likely to get, um, to, we're more likely to get responses. So for example, um, you know, ver if saying, Hey, can you, um, what's something I do? Uh, uh, painters. Hey, you, Hey, you house painters. Um, uh, please take my survey. Right versus something on the order of, hey guys, I was, I was just working on my house this weekend and I was painting, up, painting it up and um, uh, realized that, that uh, you know, or, 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 you know, I had a great conversation with this one contractor guy I was talking to. And we struck up a really great conversation. It made me think, ah, I should probably reach out to some other folks with this survey that I'm already doing for this class of mine. Just was wondering if you guys had uh, several minutes, if you wouldn't mind taking this anonymous free survey for this class that I'm in at Cal State Channel Islands, you know, so something like that is, is, is a bit more, it's a bit more um, likely to get people to engage with the survey, to take the survey, um, et cetera. Uh, the other, other just lo uh, two logistics note, logistical notes there. We do not target uh, folks that are, this is only for adults, so we don't do folks that are 17 years of age or younger. So this is for 18 year olds and above. So every once in a while someone gets on it. So when we do it face to face, it's relatively easy to control with this, with this um, uh, you know, online thing. We can't quite, at the, at the end, we can sort of suck out the, the ages that are you know, less, than, less than 18. But, but you don't want to you don't want to actively target you know high schoolers or middle schoolers or anything of that nature. Um, uh, I was going to say that was one the age thing and what was the other thing I was going to say age and uh, ah, couldn't have been that important. <laughs> Um, oh, oh yeah, yeah, and that it's and that it's also anonymous, and that people um, you're welcome to encourage people to share the link, um, but they can only take the survey once. And so, uh, just so you understand how the 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 logistics of that, the the mechanism of that is, the, the Qualtrics itself will will um, essentially figure out how the person is submitting the data through a smartphone, through a tablet, through a computer, and it'll get the unique identifier of the browser or the, or the machine or, what, or, or the phone or whatever. And, um, 
it goes and it's not used we don't use it in our data set but it but but qualtrics keeps track of that and so we have it set that you can't do multiple you can't do multiple um uh entries of data so if someone goes and they enter you know all the way through boom, boom finish our survey hit the last question say done um and they were to, and they were to re-click that link it would say oh thanks for participating but but our records show that you've already it looks like you've already participated right and so um of course there's nothing to say they couldn't jump on their phone or their other computer or their kids thing or whatever and take it again but um but we don't we can't control that but that that bit of that bit of information as to if this if this survey has um uh if someone's already taken the survey when we hit stop so we, we also don't know the g we don't know anything about where it is geographically we don't know from that that information if it's in Germany or Russia or wherever the heck. But once we hit the button that says um, stop collecting or, or close survey, that stuff is all deleted. So the stuff that we will only ever see, it, we won't ever see that stuff, the, the unique, the, the, the browser address or the machine address or the, or the router out address or anything like that. But just so you guys understand, that's how that works. So therefore, this one link that we have, you you can share it and repost it and repost it and repost it and um it's just that if that person from their machine tries to use it again it'll say oh it looks like you've already completed our survey um so yeah uh and then the lot i guess the other thing to say is that uh, i've added on a um a sort of redirecting google email on there so if people have any questions if they want to get a you can also tell people we're more than welcome we're more than willing to share the results of, of this once we you know close it and once we had a chance to just make sure the data are all cool um, so if people are curious about any of those things um, you can uh, on the entrance there is a link and they can they're more than welcome to email that and say hey when this is done can you guys send us a, a copy of the you know the summary of the results of this, um, and that's cool. Um, uh, I used to, I, normally, like the ones we do when we go around and hand them out and do the physical things, I actually include my email address on those. But I've learned over the years when we do these online things, um, there's some kind of strange people out there sometimes. And so uh, they should be able to reach us if they have a question or something. But the notion of, um, uh, the notion of giving out my my email address to places where you guys might be sending to to different different areas isn't the most exciting thing. So that's why it's uh, the Coastal Opinions email and not the Sean uh, uh, edu email address. Cool. Uh, and again, it is it is totally anonymous, and uh, you're more than welcome to encourage those folks if they have networks or they have. Um, uh, colleagues or ways of, of sharing on newsletters or whatever they're more than welcome to to we love for them to share it and keep keep pushing the, the survey out there cool okay and if that's if no more questions I guess we're we'll finish up the logistics there of our of our survey finally only many weeks later than normal we're, we're getting going here any any other questions about um, coastal survey distribution or coastal survey instrument Um, oh, somebody said, let's see, look at my things. Uh, is there a whistling sound? Oh my God, do I sound like I'm whistling? I was like 10 minutes earlier, so I don't hear it now. But was it, was it um, like low level or high level? Was it, was it quiet or, or like couldn't hear people talk? All was quiet. Okay, okay. Um, uh, yeah, and so then, so, uh, uh, Emma was saying that uh, one thing that would be a great place to distribute it, and I completely agree, and I'd I'd, I really think we need to do more of this, which is look at non-coastal areas, right? So historically, when we do this, we focus on our coastal uh, counties because we're in a coastal county, right? And we can only do so much. We can't drive up to Lake Tahoe to do this survey, right? So, um, so therefore, uh, uh, we tend to just do our local area. But in this case, since we're not constrained geographically, it's great. We should absolutely be surveying all of California. Now, people can take this survey if it gets out and about on Facebook, or whatever, they could take it in other parts of the country, other parts of the world for that matter. 
Um, recall that when we send it to other parts of the world, or assuming we send it to people outside of California, we're not asking how good a job is California doing with its coastal resources. So some of those specific questions won't be asked because I, I, I don't know how helpful it is to figure out if people in Florida think we're go doing a good job here. Um, so we really are focusing on California, but we have but we have a wide net. So if you're if you're posting your invite to a much broader um, um, group or or or, or um, organization, um, you just say, hey, we're looking for you know every love for everybody to respond here. Um, historically, we focus on California coastal stuff, but um, love to hear back from from folks wherever you are. That's totally cool. Um, but where we can focus it, I think our focus should be California, uh, California proper, not necessarily California coastal, right? So we should, we should be sending it to some organizations in coastal California, but also some organizations in Sacramento and, uh, you know, the Sierra Nevada and, and, and those types of, um, those types of places too. So, so all that is good. And I think, I think, um, uh, Casting a wide net, but really ideally focusing on California where, wherever we can, wherever it makes sense. Um, and somebody sent it to Cal Ag. It's great. Yep, that's a great one. That's a great one. Um, uh, those are evil people trying to stop fishing. Excellent. Uh, uh, won't they have our email when we send the link? Sorry, Remy, I'm not sure what, what you mean by that one. Oh, oh your, your personal email. Um, sure, right. Right, they'll, they'll have your email. Um, I would say that, um, yeah, right. So if you're doing that, or, or if you're on a social media, that they would, they would know where it's coming from, I suppose. But what I've found over the years is when I have, so in the, in the intro, in the, um, the header, the lead-in text for the survey, that's where we sort of explain the survey. Hey, we're, this is a, a, a research project, CSUCI, here's the things we're looking at, it's anonymous, that kind of stuff. And then when I, then I put in there, if you have any questions or would like a copy of the results, please email this. That's usually where most people um, uh, uh, send their, their frustrations to or whatever. So yeah, it is true that they would have your email, um, but uh, yeah, can't fix that, but but can fix that when that person then sends it on to their friends, that's it's it's the coastal opinions that they they will respond to. Yeah, and so I think I got I think that's all the questions in the chat, unless anybody else has some other ones or other comments or other suggestions. Okay. All right, cool. Um Great. I'm going to stop this for a second because I've, I've been learning how these recordings go and it's easier to